was it about Lisette that triggered? What did she trigger in you? You know, Lisette never showed me a picture of hers. Never. I never saw a picture of hers because there was no Google. And I couldn't I had no access to Harper's Bazaar where she was working probably before we met. So what she triggered in me was much more of a humanist philosophical response to how I would photograph. She would say that you always have to go beyond the surface. It's not simply a, a storefront. It's a manifestation of who lives inside the store and how they want to adorn it or not adorn it, may, may the case be. She would say, and so succinctly do I remember this, she said, don't judge that old woman in front of you. You may be she one day. You know, because the tendency of youth is to be arrogant, egoistic, swashbuckling, you know, and also the tendency of my mother, who was an invincibly competitive person who, did, who never got sick a day in her life until she died right there, um, would be to say, you know, if you're sick, you're a wimp. And very competitive, you know, and I obviously would take on those types of habits. And at least I'd try to sway me to go into a more, you know, uh, a vulnerable dimensionality, you know. As I say, I didn't see the volumetric kind of sense of her work. But she talked about Katya Brasson when I was young. I was very, very influenced by you know, that beautiful classicism and balletic and so on and so forth. And, she, and we would look at his vast books, you know, the journalist books, not necessarily the, com the compilations. And she would say this one and that one and this one and that one and this one. And we would look through structure and composition and printing. And, and she, <laughs> she also taught me how to complain. <laughs> because she knew only so well how to complain. <laughs> 